hyphen it up. <laughs> uh, tell you that, man. <laughs> uh, I know some people like him. I don't like Look, him. Look, so whatever. All right, so um, Quavo mm-hmm. is at the White House. He met with uh, Kamala Harris. Wow. Remember, I told you. She had two short there. She trying to like. She got to get in where she needs yeah. to fit in. Yeah. Everybody's been questioning her as VP. Well, she got to get black people excited about voting because they're right. not excited about voting for Biden. So it's like we got to get the black people and the young black people. Yep. See, that's why she with these hip hoppers and stuff. Yeah, she should have been doing that a long time ago. Well, it doesn't matter. People have a short term. Short if you do something, yeah. that's true. You need to probably do it closer to the yeah, time you, when they're gonna vote for October, you, so they'll remember. Yeah, actually, is this is too early still? <laughs> she should have a big old hip hop thing October but then right before the election. People automatically say, "Ah, oh, just to get some votes." It's well, too close. It, no, no, no. We'll see. People have a short attention span, hmm. but he is there for a good reason. Okay. He is there for a good reason. Uh, let's say hi. Emerald says, hey, ladies. Hey, hey Emerald. So he's there for a good reason. Um, Quavo mm-hmm. uh, meets with Kamala Harris um, to discuss advocacy against gun violence after his nephew, Takeoff, had passed away. Because right. you remember Takeoff, he passed away because fact, of gun was violence. It around this time mm-hmm. last year? Yeah, it was during Halloween. Yeah, it was Halloween. I had some Halloween Chucky It was Halloween. You're right. It was actually in Halloween. Mm-hmm. They was out on Halloween, so it's a year, almost a year now. Um, he got his little suit on, so he he dressing for this. He dressing <laughs> to come to the White House. I like that. Okay, you know he knows That's he's true. coming to the That's White House. He's being respectful. He's showing these young kids you can dress for success. You don't mm-hmm. have to, you know, right. still wear your pants hanging down. You coming to visit the. White House, the vice president is there. Mm-hmm. She might be the future president. That's true. That's true. If everybody keeps talking about how old Joe Biden is. I know. Okay, so the trauma, the, the trauma Migos rapper Quavo suffered after witnessing his nephew take off um, the M word. Last year is disturbing sight. He doesn't want anyone else to experience. Yeah, he really, they showed everything on film. Everything. Wow. Um, through his pain, Quavo found his purpose as a vocal advocate against gun violence. He met privately with some powerful political figures, including Vice President Kamala Harris. And then he later spoke on a panel about combating the issues during the Congressional Black Caucus Legislative Conference in Washington. So he's going out there. He's like, I don't want what happened to take off. A lot of times things have to happen to people. And then my question is too, when people talk about this um, plans for gun, to um, mm-hmm. stop the gun violence. Advocacy. Advocacy. What can they do? Well, let's see. The Grammy nominated rapper said that take off's untimely death ultimately convinced him to speak out. I feel like your calling comes at least ex- at the expected time, he said. Who also honored his nephew with their Migos bandmate offset during the BET Awards earlier this summer. Police say Takeoff was an innocent bystander who was shot outside of Houston um, Bowling Alley, if you remember that. Um, his death was the latest in string of fatal shootings in recent years that involved hip-hop stars. There's a lot of hip-hop uh, mm-hmm. celebrities that went away. Quavo says, you don't think nothing is going to happen. I need to step up to place and hit a home run. I have to do something about it. So it won't happen to the masses, especially in our culture. I don't want this to happen to the next person. I want to knock down these um, percentages. So he joined the panel. You saying what they was talking about. Um, after the um, after, oh, another lady was there, her son was gunned down. Um, and it says they're, they're looking for solutions oriented conversation on community intervention strategies, the battle with gun violence, and the power of advocacy. So he's basically, they're looking for the community to kind of step up. A lot of times people, a lot of this gun violence is gang related. Some of it is. Mm-hmm. And so if the community steps up to combat how the do gang. You, how do, Chicago had a shooting yesterday. Mm-hmm. Ma, you probably saw it on TV. That boy that got shot mm-hmm. at high school. He was a football player. Really cute guy, really yeah. fun, down to earth. He was. It was a, a shooting that he was just there in uh-huh. the wrong place. They they had leads. Nobody would talk. You see, they were afraid to talk. Well, he. How can you mm-hmm. 
get that's the issue because right. remember Tyler Perry's movie um, with um, I- uh, Idris mm-hmm. and um, the ge- a whole community came out right, right, and was doing whatever right, they needed right. to do. If a whole community talks, right. the gangs can't just shoot up a whole community for right. talking. Well, but says, everybody's afraid to snitch. Well, he says after takeoff shooting, Quavo often asks himself, "How do we use guns safely? And how do you keep them out of the hands of people that make bad decisions?" He said, "I'm kind of half and half place." Even police have guns. Unfortunately, some of the people in our culture and loved ones have been lost to police brutality. It's all about choices and how we can filter on who can use these guns. Jackson said Quavo's voice could make a difference. He applauded the rapper for sitting down with members of Congress, offering his firsthand insights and putting the pressure on them for um, impact. So... Again, people are questioning because a lot of times in these communities, you say, okay, well, the police have guns, but then you got police violence. So it's like, I'm not, you're not going to just let them have guns or we'll all be gone if that, if that, if it's going to continue. Gun, gun, the advocacy for gun violence, that's a hard, that's probably one of the hardest to, to what, what can you do if people don't talk? Well, he got here, Quavo invested $2 million in the community violence intervention. He aspires to develop more after-school programs in areas where community centers have been shut down and basketball goal rims be taken down. So he's so a lot of these after-school things. Remember, we said if you keep them busy, you can't wait till they get in high school and all that stuff, and then be trying to oh, we're gonna try to. You got to get them little, get them little. You got to have a lot of these after-school. Um, remember, um, Denzel Washington said that saved his life. That boys, that um, boys and girls club or whatever, he said that saved his life because if he wasn't going to boys and girls clubs, he said he would have been out on the street. But he was going to the boys and girls club, and that kept him busy. So a lot of these boys and girls clubs and a lot of these organizations have been closed because no money. So that's why he's saying I'm investing into these communities to start opening these centers back up again. That's one thing. It's not one yeah, answer. I know. So, I know. you know, I know you're making a face. Is, it's, it's more than one it's thing. It's got to be definitely more. Because right. the boy got shot at school. Right. Playing football. Yeah. So, I mean, come on. What else can you do? You at yeah. school. Yeah. You talking about after school programs. They're getting shot during the day. No, mm-hmm. but they're saying the after school programs. That does help. It because helps because. The Pastor Corey, he's starting his, yeah. his $20 million, bil- million dollar, um, suit thing that he's, right. he's building. He's going to have a swimming pool. Yeah. He's going to have where they can learn to box. Exactly. Beautiful center. He what has. it's doing is, it's not saying that it's going to stop. It's not, it's not like right. answer to all. Yeah. But, but it keeps them busy so that they're not feeling like they have yeah. to be in something else to stay. And what, what they always say to old people, an idle mind is the devil's playground. If you keep somebody busy, 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 it's like you don't have time for foolishness because you about getting being busy. I wonder what can they do aside from that, because there's always a bunch of things you can do to, you know, to to keep the kids safe well, and not off the streets. Is there anything that can be done? I know the problem is when people, a lot of times, in my one of my coworkers, she lived in the West Side, and she would get up to come to work where we where we worked, and, she, and I say, "Did you have any issues going home?" So she, every now and then she'll have a story because she lived on a really bad side of Chicago. Sometimes she'll get on the bus and she'll see an outline of a body that just you know was taken, but. I was one, I was saying a lot of times you guys do know who are doing the shootings in a lot of these neighborhoods. And she said a lot of people know who they are. Right. But they're not saying. Is there anything. anything that can be done even financially to even I, I'm I'm thinking money always answers because mo- the, the, the Bible does Watch say them. money mm-hmm. answers all things. It mm-hmm. does. The root the root of it is, is the, the love of it is the root of evil. But in a sense where people communities are paid or giving money to better their communities or whatever, if they speak and say, that was Miss Jones' grandson that did the shooting. Well, yeah. That was Millie. Well, that things, was Jimmy John, who was part of the game. One of the things is that we're changing what culture of what snitching is. Yeah. Now, the, yeah. the first time I've ever heard people start separating, mm-hmm. that if you're a civilian, that's not snitching. If you are a criminal... Then you are snitching. But what if you from the neighborhood? Because one of the girls you at the high civilian. school. No, no. One of the girls at the high school on the news, when I watched that boy that got, that was, you know, taken, his life was taken. One of the, the, his, his classmates said, 
Yeah, a lot of people know they've seen some stuff, but nobody gonna say nothing. Nobody wants right, to I'm be a snitch. Right, I'm saying they changing. They changing. Well, that. right now yeah. she's saying snitch. I know, but and, I'm and saying they're in they're that changing. community. That's why, like, um, it hasn't changed yet, it's but it's changing hopefully will. because that's why Ghana. He's out. They're cha- they're taking away the stigma of the word I, snitch. I wish so. They young do it. kids yeah, faster. Yeah, yeah. what's well, happening? Because she said young last kids, night they not talking. Young kids don't. They don't see snitch in the same way that when we were younger. It's changing. The way you change it is to change the culture. And so the rappers have to change the culture. The people have to change the culture. The industry has to change the culture. And it's changing. The fact that Gunna can come out and some people say, oh, he snitched, he snitched. And he come out and had a number one album and he's still moving around, 6 9 moving around. Young people don't see the word snitch the way that they used to. So it's changing slowly, but it's changing. Yeah. Again, it's not one answer. Nobody's it's several. saying that yeah. it is. I'm just saying it's just so funny right. that that why did that young girl in the community? I know it's changing. They hugging on each other. Right, right. Why did she say that? If the person because that was the first thing I right. the, po- the the police made it clear in the news reporting that. People had information mm-hmm. they didn't want to share. Right. But they're changing. And they made that obvious because Emerald they're trying here, to tell people that. Emerald has here Crime Stoppers. So stuff like that is popping up where people can go and say stuff. Um, uh, You know, not everybody don't know that you're saying something. Unknown. It's just the yeah, culture. Unknown. Yeah, unknown Anonymous. callers. Anonymous. The culture has to change. That's yeah. all. And so that's happening. And I agree with after school programs and having these organizations that come out. I agree. It's all things. Well, that's what I was the saying. The police. The police have to stop um, being doing the stuff that we see. I them they my, want body cams right. now. Stuff like I that. wanted my suggestion in there too, though. I'm saying, is there anything monetary wise? Yeah. Because think about it. Even as the culture is changing, like like Kim said, as far as snitching, it's not considered snitching anymore. Right. But you gain. A reward, in a sense, for telling, so your community will well, be cleaned like, up. When you call, so when you start saying, "Oh, that one, that one neighborhood," they all got together and said so and so and so and so, and they got a reward, and their homes are all fixed up, and the street is paved. People need to start seeing, "Oh, there's rewards, right, there's right. money that comes to this well, to get our them, cities to be a safer." A lot of them get individual rewards if they call. So that's what I'm saying. Stuff. Money involve yeah. money some kind of way. Yeah. But go ahead. But yeah, so all I'm of the ideas. Him. What made him know decide to go take to, off? Remember, take I off. I mean, what made him decide to go to the White House to talk to Kamala? Because they had this conference and they a uh, gun violence and stuff. Oh, okay. So that's why he said he wanted to come and speak on advocacy again, raising awareness because young that's kids watch the spotlight him. On yeah. Him. yeah, you want it to be where it's not cool. Yeah, and we're gonna talk about that later with Nicki Minaj's husband. <laughs> he looked like a fool. You see what I'm saying? Back in the day, it was cool. Well, you know, he ex- he's come from prison. And he, so he's stuck in time. He in time travel. <laughs> Back in the day, you can stand outside. Hey, yeah, I'm outside. I'm outside. Step on by. And now it's like, dude, we about making money. Ain't nobody trying to do all what you're doing. Yeah. So it has to change in the culture. Okay. And it is. A little bit by, they're becoming stale and stupid. <laughs> And they and the kids like in Quavo, he on Kai Sinet's show dancing and having a good time uh-huh. and having pizza parties at night, and that's what's cool. Outside, dude's not cool anymore. What about this as well? We'd have named at least four different things that can be added to the list for people who are trying to fight for gun ab- advocacy. Yeah, I'm noticing now because it's happened in a lot of the southern states. Uh, concealed to carry. Concealed to carry. Yeah, what's wrong with that? I think more, it's kind of like what you said before. If more and more people are carrying weapons. Oh, yeah. How, when the word gets out. Well, you're going to go back to the Wild West. I know. It's yeah. going to be my, my, one of my but managers. Pro, who said, I know, I'm pro, I, I get it. I get it. I'm, I'm pro, pro concealed carrying carry. your gun. Yeah. But I'm just saying. If we hear in the news, you're not gonna just walk in the store when grandma and everybody else got firearms, and it'd be like five guns in the store going on the one dude trying to rob the again, place. And he'd be like, okay, okay, I'm got, out of here. And then again, that goes hand in hand with mental mental health. Yeah. If you got a nut job, they'll walk in there. They don't care that everybody got to go see. And they'll still be like at the Wild Wild West. I get it. I'm saying that's another checklist. I know. It's just another if thing. If people are caring, like if you try to get somebody out their car to, to, right. to carjack them, 
them right. and they come at you with a gun bigger than yours, right. chances are you're going to start leaving people right. alone because Every, they packing too. Everything is just walks hand. It's not one thing. <laughs> Mental health. Um, AR, we were saying, I said having a special license to carry AR-15. AR-15. I don't think you should get rid of them. I just think there should be a special license. Like a CDL license um, for driving. So I'm, 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 okay. I'm, you know, we can go, everybody can meet in the middle somewhere. And that's true because if they're licensed, that means that you can check up on them. Right. And that's what people don't want. Because they think they're going to overturn the government one well, day. We go- that's the ones that climbed over the wall on January 6th. Yeah, I don't need to know how many <laughs> AR-15s I got. I got 15 buried in the backyard. But what's the problem of knowing how many you got? We're not taking them away because from you. Because they think the government we is... just want Billy no. Bob to know we found out Billy Bob no. has a breakdown. Because in their minds, remember, these are nut jobs. These are mega and all these uh, Trumpsters. Uh-huh. The government's going to take over the over us <laughs> and they're going to cry they're after me and they're coming after you next. So bury your AR-15s in the backyard. That's how they mine is. Oh, help us. They had the attorney general. I'm not going to talk about it all t- right now. Uh-huh. Had him up there uh, at the judiciary committee. So you're going to tell it. They, they sound so stupid. He had to laugh at some of them. He literally was laughing at some of them talking big head gates um, with his giant head and, and Jim Jordan uh-huh. and all of them. You need to. You're going to tell us nobody's looking into Hunter Biden. Here's the thing. Who who cares about Hunter Biden? Why do we keep bringing this up with him? You know, don't you think it's a little weird that uh, the uh, Hunter Biden has art and that the guy who buys the most expensive painting ends up being getting a deal? And this, this other black guy, one of the congressmen said, same as Kushner. Oh, like if uh, what is, he said, I, I find it odd that you you y'all are so into Hunter Biden, but you're not into Jared Kushner. Thank you. Well, How about that? all of them? Let's let's do all, all of them on the, the kids, all the kids, all the son in law, Ivanka, everybody. Yes. Let's bring them all in. Yes, bring the wives in. Let's yes. bring Jill and Melania with her. Let's see what's going on with Melania. They just stuck on Hunter. It's like yeah. a, knee, a, 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 a a record that's stuck on that blue part with the knee. So that's how they are with these guns. Oh. They so your what's his name? Um, Moses. From my cold dead hands, you'll pull this away. No one's trying to pull your stupid gun away. Oh. You big dummy. <laughs> no one. They're just trying to make the laws. A little is more uh, as far as uh, finding the back, background say, checks is more clarity. Then on they'll that. say my de- cold dead hands, and then that guy who escapes from prison goes in your garage and, with your cold dead hands, uh-huh. takes your rifle, so, which and then you can't happened. even shoot him when he's running away. That's actually what happened. You, he probably was one of those ones that screamed, you're not taking my guns, but yet the gun you got. The gun you got. You can't even use it on the And then seat. they'll bury eight, 15 AR-15s in the backyard, yes. and somebody will break through the window and shoot them while they're sitting in the bed, lay, laying in the bed. <laughs> Where's your AR-15? Hold on, I got to go get it. It's buried in the backyard. The back. <laughs> or the combination. Hold on, I'm trying to get it out of this safe here. I have them locked up. You stuck at the light, at the uh, light, trying to get through a red light. Somebody taps on your window with a gun pointed at your head. Go ahead and reach for your AR-15 then, <laughs> you big dummy. Especially when there's three of them that's carjacking you. There's not. An Which I one you going to shoot? There are times, like I said, where it does work to have one. Yes, that's why I'm not yes, against yes. road uh, yeah. since the zeal carry. There's some wild, wild west But there's times where people going to, they'll shoot you across the street. Yeah. You don't even know where it's coming from. <laughs> Oh my God. So, so that's why I'm but saying. But that's good. He's talking to the White House. All these things working together, hopefully, will help. We all it's know. Not one all in, you know. We all, all know what the ultimate thing is God. We right. know that. In spite of all of the laws that's put in place or the ways to save God, have to be covered. God still has to be number one. That's it. <laughs> yeah. And everybody going to always try to move away from him. And he's always going to be like, you're going to still have to come to be to me, here. So. I need to be here. You go on with your little crime stopper, but it don't hurt to have a prayer meeting right before you make the call. 
So there That's you go. True. That's true. All right. Colleen says, hello, ladies. Hey. Emma says, the YMCA used to create opportunities for you to get off the streets for free. Yeah. And low cost. Now it's so expensive and not worth the cost. I agree. Back in the day, you had stuff. You was busy. You, you It kept you busy. You but had you know, I was telling up. my sister, I said, one of the schools in the suburbs, one of the kids was trying to get through the side door. Uh, the teacher oh, yeah. called him and said, no, you can't come through this. You have to go through the main entrance. Come to find out the police found the boy. He don't, he not even a student at the high school and he was carrying a gun. So she stopped. What him. was his plan? Thank I think. you. Thank you. So even them trying to get in schools now with weapons. Thank you. So go ahead. So yeah, there's not one answer. It's all these things right, working together. Right, it's all together. working together. Now you said DeSantis was on this lady, Lindsay. Have, yeah, Lindsay. Lindsay Davis. Was interviewing him and 